Hi there, back again. It's been a long time and I have filmed some stuff but didn't post it and yeah, my last video was on Halloween and yeah, since then my life has been kind of really, really on the crazy side of the spectrum with loads of work. I think um, up until two days ago or three days ago, only in this month, I've already had like 15 patients hospitalized for usually three to five days, plus tons of ambulatory patients as well. So I was at the clinic um, pretty much every day, all the day, and did not have time to go to the gym even. I went to the gym on Halloween and then two days ago. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. You know, like eight, nine, eight or nine days without going to the gym because, you know, I was at the clinic even at 4 a.m. once and usually would go like at around 7 a.m. and stay there for long times. <laughs> so yeah, that has been crazy plus many other things that are going down in my life at the moment. Um, so, you know, I'm working on like six or seven or eight different issues at the same time, um, have not counted them, which are all very urgent and very work intense and which are all kind of hindrances to freedom for me. So my life is not really joyful at the moment, not really mm, too enjoyable and rather stressful, but I have come to see that um, these tur turbulent times in my life right now, which might be the most turbulent times I've ever had in my life, maybe, are like a rite of passage, um, which I need to go through to get to a new level of freedom and joy and independence and you know all of that so this realization kind of made it easier for me to bear and I just try and take it as a test for my endurance endurance and my integrity and um, my overall capacity to deal with difficulties and yeah so I still procrastinate big time, but you know, I don't even blame myself because like the mere exhaustion is oftentimes the reason when I just can't take anything anymore, um, that I don't do things whenever I should be doing them. Well, should. <laughs> well, anyways, mm, so... Um, I've been eating a lot since the last three weeks or so that I have started to eat, um, regular food again. Hang on. I don't really remember when I started. I think it was the 18th of October. So it's already like four weeks already. Sure. So, um... Okay, um, I have done these dry fast on the weekends, but not for the last two weeks. Uh, two weeks ago, I intended the dry fast and made then made this Halloween video afterwards. And yeah, I didn't do it well. And then last week, I water fasted on Saturday and then on Tuesday again and the rest was like two or three days of just regular food and two days of raw food yeah 
So this week I'm trying to do the same. I water fasted yesterday. In the evening I broke after 24 hours. I wanted to do a dry fast today, but then this morning at, five, at 4 a.m. again we had to go to the airport to bring my daughter there. And then I had trouble um, with a patient who didn't get better at all. So I was like thinking, oh man, I have to, you know, like get up at this hour and everything will be really uneasy and disturbed. And <laughs> then the thought of pizza crossed my mind last night. The funny thing is um, I'm not hungry at all when I fast. I had two bouts of hunger which went away after like, I don't know, three or four deep breaths. So it's not the hunger. Actually, the hunger is for me, it's like easy to bear, very easy. I identify it as hunger and or a hunger pang and then I breathe through it and then it's gone. That's so easy. What really bothers me is a part of me that kind of brings food into my consciousness like for the whole time and that doesn't happen exactly when I'm hungry but like after 24 hours of water fasting there was a moment I could not think of anything else but food so um, yeah I was thinking oh we have this tradition like you know when the holidays end or whatever that we go and have pizza or bring pizza home and I was like oh you know <laughs> we should do that because my daughter's going away for a week and um, she's traveling to Colombia with her class and you know I was thinking like what would bring me more joy now sit on my bed and try to not eat and but think the whole time about food or go and have something and you know do the traditional pizza thing Plus, I haven't eaten pizza in like three months or more. So I was like, mm, it's about time. <laughs> and then I thought I can't, you know, like eat pizza on an empty stomach after 24 hours of water fast. And the day before I had it, had done raw food. So that was, I thought that would have been too brutal. So I went for an avocado sandwich. And then my teens told me they didn't want to go and bring pizza home <laughs> and they agreed they would just eat what we had what they had cooked on midday so I went on to eat lots and lots of stuff and kind of totally overate again so um, that's the other thing um, that's something Ray Maor told us in the course that we will neither have hunger nor feel satiated by food. And that's really, you know, a stupid thing, really stupid. Not what Ray said, because it's totally true. But the fact of not feeling satiated by food, it's really difficult to know when to stop because you know, right now food for me is so sensational and, you know, I eat a lot, but I eat lots of different things. It's like I try this and mm, that's so good. Then I eat a little bit more of that, of the same thing. And then I look around and see something else and mm, oh my God, I want to experience the other taste. And it's like I end up eating so many different things. And always takes seconds of, it's really crazy, it's really like a pattern. Like I make half a bread with sandwich with peanut butter and jelly. And then it's so yummy that I make the other half as well. Or I cut an avocado in half and have that on toast. And then, you know, it's so good. I need to finish up the other half of the avocado with crackers or whatever. So... <laughs> like lots and lots of food goes into my mouth and then you know it's really difficult to know when to stop and then this morning I came back from the airport at 6 a.m. and then I had a huge breakfast consisting of fried potatoes and guacamole <laughs> 
and then I was eating like every two hours a little something and you know it's really crazy so um my eating behavior has changed so much so yeah as I was so stressed out because of my life circumstances and you know then they cancelled the flight my daughter's flight and you know we had to go back to the airport and pick them back up and fight for them to be reprogrammed in two days and you know uh oh my god <laughs> you know like so many things happening so many strange things as well so yeah i have stopped the regular dry fasting I'm a bit sad that I didn't do it today, but at the other on the other side, I do feel weak. I mean, there's no point in arguing around that. I do feel weaker when I fast. So I'm not in a position in my life right now where I can feel weak and just, you know, get through that phase where I feel weak because I know that once the body adapts to that um, thing which is fasting it won't feel that weak anymore and I think at some point I might even feel stronger before because of fasting but at the moment it's not the case so I'm just you know trying to do two days of water fast in the week and actually right now my idea my idea is to um, to eat you know everything on one day but you know no cooked food after like 2 or 3 p.m. because the problem with salt is that afterwards I can't really sleep very well because the salt dehydrates me in a way that I need to drink lots and lots of water and then you know have to get up and pee and stuff like that so that's really uncomfortable so <laughs> I might try to really only have like something cooked at midday and in the morning at most a bread or something one one sandwich or something like that but mostly we'll try to stick to juice um, in the morning and that is one day then the next day eat raw and then the next day water fast so that would be a rhythm rhythm i think i could adapt to um that could kind of you know be easy on my schedule maybe I don't know <laughs> I'll have to try it out so I had uh, like three cooked meals me oh, three <laughs> cooked meals like dinner breakfast and lunch now and I won't eat anything cooked now but only you know like fruit if I want something else and then tomorrow will be raw food and then you know the day afterwards will be just water and then eat cooked again raw water i would really think that that would be, would be a good thing to do so basically it would kind of b burn down to you know me having two cooked meals in a week two to three of course um and that's something I think I can work with because I don't want to deprive myself of anything because I'm really, I'm really a foodie and my kitchen is like a laboratory where I do some crazy alchemical stuff. Like today I made this amazing soup, um, which is adapted, um, from a recipe of some kind of Chinese soup. Uh, which contains like fried and spiced tofu and chickpeas and I put quinoa in there and on a base of some vegetables and then lots of spices so you know and then you put even a little bit of sugar and vinegar in it so you know it's like packed full of flavors and spicy and you know lot of, lots of cilantro and <laughs> need I say more it was so good was amazing really really amazing and it made me feel so happy so um, I think at the end the path of pranic living is a path to happiness and to freedom and to healing of course so you know while 
this food stuff makes me really happy. I mean, I don't want to deprive myself of it, but kind of reduce it. And whenever I reduce it, I, you know, like not in portion size because, well, for me, it seems like I eat a lot. It's not a lot in general terms because I never ate like huge portions, but um, I wouldn't, you know, want to really reduce that for the moment. I mean, I would like to, but I can't. <laughs> it's really difficult at the moment. But just to eat like that cooked stuff every third day so I can really plan it out and, you know, like <laughs> whatever I crave most, I can just eat on those days like two or three times a week and then have the raw days, which are good for me as well. I mean, I, I can deal with that because... I've been eating raw already many times for several months and then try and do the water fast which are kind of really easy for me. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Don't know if that made any sense or if I did if I didn't make any point. <laughs> but yeah, in the end. Whatever. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure I'll be back with an update at some point again. Okay, so um, have a good one and I see you in the next one or you see me in the next one. It's silly to see that I see you in the next one, huh? <laughs> Anyways, bye.